Why can't you just go back? Why can't we just meet at the Sphinx? We can meet, meet at the fucking Sphinx. Who's <laughs> yeah. at the Sphinx? I am also at the Sphinx. All right. Everybody. I'm not at the Sphinx yet, though. I went back. All right. Bow hit play. Okay. It's on play. Menu, right? Okay. When the Sphinx shows up, let us know and we'll hit play. I'll just tell you when to play and then we'll just keep yeah. it going. Sounds good. All right. Sphinx. Is it working? I'm good. I think I'm good. like a second or two behind, but I don't really care. That's fine. Can you hear mine? Should I turn it down? Mine just comes up with light motive. Mine just did the same thing, basically. All right, yep. we're in the same ballpark. Yep. Light motive. Hollywood pictures. Yep. Okay. I'm like two seconds behind, but that's fine. Oh, fuck you, Matt. Get a real computer. <laughs> Bo, I swear to God. After all the shit you just pulled. A long, long time ago, the earth was ruled by dinosaurs. So not a lot of people went around asking. What the fuck? Nice opening on this 16 bit video. Can you hear game. me? Yeah. I mean, can you hear my. TV? I can hear, I think, one of yours, but it's not a big deal to me. I can turn mine down a little bit. I think it might be mine. I can also pull this mic closer to me. Brooklyn, just... 65 million years ago. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> Casey couldn't tell. What accent is this? Uh, it's supposed to be a New York accent, I think. Wait a second. How did they sucker Dennis Hopper into this? Was this before he made money? It's a good chance. Uh, he's, he's King Koopa. That or out of the $35 million budget, he got $34 million of it. I mean, maybe. Dude, he mailed it in for a while. Did either of you watch that Disney movie that actually had Paul Walker in it called Meet the Deedles? No. What movie called? Meet the Deedles. Like, they go to Yellowstone Park and pretend to be, like, rangers there. Dennis Hopper's the bad guy in that. It's like a Disney Channel original. <laughs> I mean, if you get paid a good paycheck and you get to go act like an asshole, I mean, who cares? Yeah. It's kind of his M.O. as the asshole guy. I already like Velocity after Velocity Dude, I really Veloster love Velocity movies. Velocity already would have had five plot points in uh -huh. by now. Yeah, what is this? We have no idea what's going on. I also really love movies that are not fit to your screen that I just have a blurry section on both sides. <laughs> it's a real yeah, those are the great cinemata cinemagraphic cin cinematic. That's the word I was looking for. Go. Cinematic Spit it out. aspect. Cinematic graphic. So close when they put the cement in the con in the concrete. Wait, what? Don't stand so close when they're mixing up the concrete. <laughs> yeah. She was running in the middle of the road. It's New York. People do weird shit all the time. I was going to say, that's not an abnormal for New York. In fact, that's like, if you're on the sidewalk, that's normal. Or that's, that's abnormal in New York. What if they're nuns? What does that have to do with dinosaurs, by the way? It's an egg. Or is this a dinosaur egg that she just oh. opened up? I think so, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a dinosaur. Didn't you not see that really good prologue? No, I was busy listening to... The uh, Deedles conversation. <laughs> Distracted you with Meet the Deedles. Why does this movie look like it was shot in 1970 and it's from like 1994? Money. <laughs> yeah, this is what Velocipaster was going for when they baked the film. <laughs> it just looked minutes. bad. <laughs> oh man, the egg's hatching. Dude, I really wonder if I've seen this movie. Like, there's like, you're probably trying to suppress it. You're uh, yeah. Like, no, I don't want to remember this shit. <laughs> That's exactly how Blake was born from an egg. From an egg. That makes sense. April shit out an egg, and then Blake came out of the egg. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. 
That's how birth works, man. I don't know if you've ever been through it yet, but you'll find out shortly. 100% thought Stork was real. Turns out it's eggs. Eggs. Oh, well, here we go. The plumber's house. Dude, what if that was your decoration and you just had plungers on your wall? <laughs> Instead of live, laugh, love, it's <laughs> plungers. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Did you see that part? I think they have just plungers hanging on the wall. Yeah, that's what made me say it. Like, as they stand past, there was plungers on the wall. This is Luigi. Hilarious. If John Leguizamo is Luigi. <laughs> I kind of forgot that they were supposed to be plumbers. Yeah, man. I mean, it makes sense because they're constantly jumping down pipes. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's the old. Oh, do you guys remember those? Did you just see the metal thing that you put on? Oh, his yeah. Face? yeah, those things are awesome. Like, little no, I missed it. it. You know what I mean? It was one of those things with a bunch of little pins and you put on your face. And it... Oh, yeah, yeah. Maria's parents have one of those still. I always mess with it. It's like therapeutic. Right? 100%. Like a stress ball. Yes. Is it just me or is Luigi like 20 years younger than Mario? Right? It's like a father-son thing, not brothers. Wait, is that guy supposed to be Mario? Yeah, Bob oh, Hoskins. Mario the, on the right. Yeah, with oh, the mustache. That's John, uh, what's his Luigi's name? Luigi's like 20 years younger than him? John Luigazamo is the yeah. is Luigi. Bob Hoskins. Yeah, they look like right. a father-son. Well, like, why are they such an age difference? <laughs> I mean, just the... We're like, let's get two actors who are willing to do this. Okay, whatever. We'll make it work. How did they get the rights to write a movie about Mario and Luigi? No, it's actually funny. That actually, it was hard like because Nintendo. Like, what? No way. <laughs> Nintendo was like, we don't want this to be a thing. But Hollywood kept pressing them, pressing them. Like, don't worry, it'll be fine. And when they saw the movie, they tried to distance themselves from it as much as possible. <laughs> Was there ever a good video I game or bones? What? Not really, I think Pikachu, the one that came out a year or two ago, like had the the best uh, Rotten Tomato score of a video game movie ever. I oh, did like the it Silent like, Hill movie. The Silent Hill one was really good. Yeah. Did Tomb Raider not like do well. I never the, saw it, so I have the no new idea. one or the one with I don't know. Both are I don't I mean, know a single one. The one with uh, Angelina Jolie did well because it's Angelina Jolie. Fair. Uh, critically, That's like saying Catwoman's a good uh, superhero movie. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. you get Halle Berry. Holy pan. This guy oh. is freaking Trump orange. Oof. Oh, yeah. That slick hair. Can I grow? What if I grew my hair out and started slicking it back? Do it. Do it. Yeah. Just make sure you look like walking skin cancer while you do it. That, does he have a, like a mullet? Kind of. I think it's like a braided oh, there it is. thing going on. Yes. It's like a weird artistic white girl's version of how she wants her hair at her wedding. Christ. How, how much you guys want to bet this guy is definitely dead? <laughs> That's what I love to do. Smell. What are those even? They look like hot dogs. Oh, they're hot dogs. I thought they're ice cream cones. It's like. <laughs> My favorite pastime, favorite American pastime, just, smelling ice cream cones. He just said they, ice they, cream cones too. he just said they say it's dog. Like they they actually were eating it, hoping it was dog. <laughs> okay, respect. You know what's weird is that guy, the guy in the red that just showed up. Like if he was walking down New York these days, people would be like, "That dude's got cool style." <laughs> Ten years ago, they'd be like, "That dude is weird as hell." Oh, but you mean it's hair? Like, Fashion is so transcendent at this point that that guy would just be like, I would be like, he's either, I mean, if he's attractive, he looks cool, but if he's ugly with all that stuff on there, he'd just be like a tryhard. But still, people would be like, that's fashionable. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would say his clothes are fashionable. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that a blazer that has a hood on it? Okay, yeah, it might be stretch. Okay, never mind. This guy, def those glasses, are you joking me? Classic run into a glass pane window right there. Typical. Dude, the guy on the left just looks like uh, Jody High Roller. 
Are there payphones anymore? Have you ever seen payphones? No, not really. No, I can't like remember if I see. Payphones were a thing. Speaking of payphones, the entire movie, I, mean, I the do entire... remember them just in the airports. I remember there being big banks of payphones. The, the entire first like three seasons of The Wire is based on payphones. Dude, when I, yeah. I watched The Wire for the first time a year or so ago. It blew me away, like how dated the technology in that movie. But it's also it's my fantastic, but that, also yeah. fantastic show. My favorite television series of all time. Yeah, it's but the, fifth, the the final. I think it was fifth. The final season got a little weird where they're. It's a good thing they ended it after that, where they went Is to like the, the politics and stuff. Where there was politics. No, or was newspaper. The po- that was four or three when it was the newspaper. Was the media? Yeah, that was three or four. The first season's just the drug, like inner city drug. Yeah. Season and then two it's the, is the docs. Right. And then three and four, I get mixed up. One is the school and one is the political thing that you're saying. Three yeah. is political, four is, four is school. schools. And five, then five is the Five is when it ends. And uh, that got weird because that's when McNulty started like making a serial killer that wasn't really there. And he started yeah. planting yeah. bodies. That was almost too much. Everybody says the second season is the worst one. I and like I it. actually, I it's didn't like it when I first. Because they got so I, involved in the regular drug dealer characters and then they switched right. completely. But I, when I first watched it, I didn't like it as much. And I was like, oh, second season kind of did stink. But then, like, now it's one of my favorite seasons to watch. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't mind it. But it, Just, like, introduced, like, the like white collar version of the crime situation that's ha- yeah. happening. I think it was just people didn't realize they were going to, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. They were going to look at different parts of Baltimore each season. Yeah. Right. By the, uh, Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo, uh, like after a week of being on set, they realized how terrible this movie was going to be. And they just, they got drunk like every day and night just to <laughs> deal with being in this movie. That is hilarious. I mean, I've never seen the Mario guy in any other movies. I don't even know who he is. Dude, it's impossible to look at that bridge and have that shot without 4,000 people trying to take selfies at the same time as you. So this movie's already unrealistic. This was 92 or 94. There wasn't selfies being taken. Somebody was finding a way to do it. classic dummy i can't get over the fact that mario literally looks like he just took this kid from his house and was like you are now my slave like he's he's balding and no, Matt, he's like he just bald. graduated he is bald <laughs> to be fair he looks exactly brother. How a plumber. brother he's his big brother yeah he looks like a Italian plumber, though, from the 90s. So I guess they nailed that character. Back footage. Back Is there Wario in this movie? Is there a Waluigi and Wario? <laughs> no. Okay. That would have been cool. No, but like that, that woman, that's Daisy. The woman. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's who? That's Daisy. Ooh. Like Princess Daisy. Daisy? Princess Daisy? Not the person you're trying to save in every Mario game? Or am I wrong? Is that Princess Peach? It's Peach, but Daisy oh, okay. still like what a big princess in the game. See, my video game knowledge transcends long distance. I have video game knowledge and Mario stops after like two. Well yeah. That's what did you guys ever watch that uh what's it called? Part of my take did the review on it. It was one of the first document or not documentary. It was a documentary, I guess. Reviews on they've been doing that recently. Every Friday, they watch a documentary and review it. And they did uh, a fistful of coins. That one I watched. I've seen it. It's about, awesome. Yeah, that about Donkey good. Kong. What a fucking bunch of losers! I feel very okay with my my random dives into video games. It's hilarious how dramatic it is about this damn. Oh, uh, the one guy, the the former champ, or the He's the guy. So he, never up, he is such a. What? 
<laughs> oh my god, he's the biggest twat ever. I like how, what was his name, Billy? The guy yeah. with the long hair? I think so. He, yeah, like, that's the guy. He mailed in the like videotape of him beating the record. Like, <laughs> just to like try to show him up. Like, what a fucking douchebag. Yeah, that yeah. dude was the douchebag of that. You know what's sad, though, is he's probably better at life at something than we'll ever be at anything. He has to be at something. Did you see his he wife in that? Fucking mouth. Yeah, that's right. We made kids, all right? We made kids. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I've heard it's good. We're just going to bully him. A kid could beat you up. He's... He or she isn't born yet, but I swear to God, give it 10 years. These guys have the worst haircuts of any characters I've hey, ever look seen. Look at them. those. That facial hair. Why did they just run into that car? It's like he had a chin strap, and then he accidentally sneezed on his chin, and then was like, oh, I guess it's just got to be like a... Quinn, you're a couple seconds ahead of us. 80% of the way. Oh, did... The car thing just, hadn't happened yet, and it just... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Should I pause it for one second? No, like, no. Would, Quinn would have to be the one to pause it first. I have to pause You and I are almost at the same exact point. I can oh. hear it a little bit. Pause it. Like, two seconds. Start it. All right, you're probably good. They're walking down the street right now. Yeah, they're talking. I like how I know, I feel like I know exactly what's going on in this movie, and I've probably heard while we're talking a total of four sentences. Yeah. I mean, she was the baby, the egg. Like oh, this, okay, see, I didn't get that part. This is her grown up. She was the one who was born from the egg. She's 20 uh, years old, if you were wondering. Yeah. <laughs> she looks 20. Plus, oh, not princess, whatever her name is. Uh, okay. she's she's got the necklace, which was like a piece of rock that was with her when she was a baby. Came out? Did it come out of the egg? No, it was just with it. It wasn't in it. It was just with it. The Luigi uh, love at first sight. What can't blame him. He just uh, he's obsessed with her now. Classic Luigi. Yeah, I mean, like, like super horny. Did like movie. Mario and Luigi ruin the fact that kid like parents can't call their kids Mario and Luigi anymore? I feel like Mario you can get away with, but have you ever met anybody named Luigi? No, I'd say uh, Mario. You got like Mario Chambers and like. Yeah, I guess there are still Marios, but there are Luigi. definitely no Luigis. No. no. No Bowsers either. No. Except for dogs. I feel like I've known dogs named Bowser. Yeah, but that's more of an ironic thing. Yeah. A lot yeah, of names like that a been, Chihuahua. A lot of names that have been ruined. Damien. I guess that one's kind of on a comeback, but... Damien? <laughs> no one knows what that no. movie is anymore. The Omen? Well, Bo doesn't, so yeah. There you go. Why would Dam Damien be ruined? The Omen? Like that... That was ruined for like a number of years after that movie came out. Yeah. I mean, what Adolf, what other, I mean, obviously, like, what other names are ruined? Like, I think there's a plumber here. <laughs> you can't really name your kid like... I mean, you can't name your kid after anybody famous. Like Michael B. Jordan, whoever named it. His parents are idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he has to do a lot to make a, his own name worth something. That's why he had to add the B. Did they just run all the way back to their apartment to get him to fix the pipe? Yeah, because it's not a one plumber job. It's a two plumber job. I'm a professional. Yeah, I love how these classic pipe plumbers are just going through these like underwater, like underground, massive eight foot diameter <laughs> pipes to try and fix it. Like, he's just like a house plumber. Like, he fixes your toilet. <laughs> Christ, all they're doing is tightening the... the, the right. <laughs> it's not anything too crazy. You're just tightening a bunch of nuts and bolts. <laughs> Who are these guys supposed to be? 
So they're they're are they like uh, like a turtles the turtles? No, they're like they're from the dinosaur world. So they're does the giant? We don't know about the dinosaur world yet, Matt. Oh, sorry, I'm. Sorry. Yeah, thanks, man. Way to fucking ruin it. <laughs> does the guy in right have eyebrows? Were they like, hey, you got to grow out this facial hair and this horrible hair thing? And then they looked at him like, nah, it's not weird enough. Oh, Shave his eyebrows. I didn't even notice that. I thought his face looked weird. <laughs> <laughs> just could you imagine Did he actually like sit there and they're like shave his eyebrows he's like yep shave my eyebrows it's a perfect idea he's committed to this role he doesn't want to yeah. lose his job he thought this was a big breakthrough moment yeah. he's like this is my yeah this is my breakthrough i'm gonna get, get so many roles after this movie <laughs> Oh, he's definitely got his eyebrows shaved. Oh, man, sneaking up on him. Dude, classic. (laughs) Good thing they're plumbers. Yeah, they know how echoes work in pipes. This is just absurd. Oh, just wait, sir. Why is it like, why were they in a pipe and now they're just like, it's a waterfall. Like what, who designed this thing where they're in a pipe or not a pipe, but I guess like a sewer. And now it's just, I don't realize where's the water in the rocks. There's got to be rats everywhere. Where are they? Rats? <laughs> Did you hear Maria? No, what'd she say? She said, wait, I thought this was a cartoon movie. No, it's not. <laughs> she just walked out here to grab water. <laughs> first like, thought it was like an animated first minute movie. or two was cartoon. You gotta see. Mario and Luigi are in it. They're brothers, obviously, but they're like 30 years in age difference. <laughs> Luigi's an oopsie baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why he has so many issues. He's hitting on a 20 year old. He's got to be close to that age, right? Dude. How old does Mario look? I mean, divide, Mario hey, it's, it's in reason. Divide your age in half, add seven. Totally normal. So let's assume he's 60, 37 years old. That's all Luigi has to be to be normal. (laughs) Oh, boy. Here we go, Bo. Are you ready? Yeah. Wait for it. I feel like I need another drink. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I brought three drinks if we need. I didn't. Well, luckily, I'm Oh, upside down. Wow. Impressive. But you're, you should pause for a couple Yeah, minutes. I was going to say, I feel like you're way ahead of you us. Should, yeah, I think you need to pause it for more than a couple seconds. Jesus Christ. Is he falling yet? Right now. He just started. He's falling now. All right. I got it. I'm about a second. He's going through the blue hole. What part are you paused on? Uh, he just got to Luigi. Hit play. He just landed. Yep, that's where I'm at. Okay. We're good. I need another beer. Get it. I figured with this movie, I literally brought the bottle next to me. I figured I'd have yeah. to refill no, it brought, point during this movie. <laughs> I brought multiple. Like, I'm. Oh, I literally. Right here. <laughs> Taking <Sit> there. <laughs> Finish it off. <laughs> that might as well. Here we go. Welcome to Dinosaur World. Classic. Everybody's favorite theme park. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Koopa Square. Yep. What was I just watching where there was a trippy, like, fall into another world type of thing? Oh, what was it? Ah, I should ask Maria. It was a movie or a show on Amazon Prime that was hilarious but like kind of dramatic and took like a twist at the end of the first season where I was like, Oh, this is legitimately way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Hold on. Okay. Maria. What was the show we just I'm watched on me. Amazon prime? That was good. 
Sorry, this is really off topic. What is the show on Amazon Prime we just watched that was really good with the funny guy where he died and you could pay for the afterlife? Oh, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you for your help. Uh, I can look. It's like called like unclick or like oh. click or it's not click. Not click. This is good podcasting right here. Uh, oh, that's fine. The Adam Sandler click movie is that what you? It's want? not that. It's not that. It's called like. Oh, it's really good. Just give me a second. Look at the little dinosaurs just hanging out. Ew. Are those gross looking? Yeah, they're like little little dinosaurs just chewing on shit. Little half, half dinosaur people. That one doesn't make sense. That one looked like a dog. Chinese watercress dogs look like upload. dinosaurs. Upload. Oh, upload. That's the name of the show. Oh, the one. Okay, upload. Upload. Yeah. Um, never heard of it. Oh Rob, fuck! Robbie something is the lead in that. What did I just do? I accidentally just hit my remote and it just skipped to a part. Where am I? Wait, how far got in are you guys right now? We are, I can tell you, or Quinn could probably get it pretty quick. 26 minutes. Okay, I got to go forward. I mean, you don't recognize all All right, the- I'm at 26.05 right now. What? 26.05. I'm like at 26.10 right now. Okay, so we're. Oh, I think you're perfect. He just dipped his hands in something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're good. I don't know how it just auto set. Like I literally pressed one button. It was like, all right, back to where we were. Can we not ignore the fact that he dipped his hands in something? I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Dude, have you never done that? You dip your hands in like, uh, what was that stuff? Like wax, like melted wax, and then it. Oh, definitely dinosaur sperm. Dinosaur sperm is a good one too. That's a good think- theory. I think I do remember he's a total germaphobe in this, so I think it's something to do with that. But I just this is King just, Koopa. This is a King yeah. Koopa. He's a germaphobe. Have you watched that series, Matt? Upload or Quinn? No, but I like I've been watching a lot of stuff on Amazon Prime, so I see a lot of. I don't Koopa. even know what that is. It's, it's like good. when you you die and you upload your consciousness into something. Yeah. But it's like so if you die, you can choose when you're dying if you want to upload yourself to like this glamorous paradise but you have so to pay it's like for the Black it Mirror episode. Uh, maybe but you have to pay for it as like a rich person so only rich people and the guy that dies he's not rich but he's dating a girl when he dies who's like in a really high ranking i think it's a po- even a political family and so like he i mean you can imagine the story he like falls out of love with her but he's the only reason she's the only reason he exists in this paradise hmm. interesting yeah i didn't i didn't know seeing the trailer i was like i don't know that looks in, in, i had no it idea was, it was better than i thought it was going to be at first i thought it was going to suck but it actually captivated me pretty well um Haley and i watched palm springs the other day it's on hulu hulu movie that one with andy samberg you seen it's like a groundhog day thing like he stumbles into this Little cave chaotic that it, movie what? Ever. Dude, what classic salamander sandwich oh yeah egg suckers excuse me miss lady isn't that kind of like a mr manly man man <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Is that the same lady from Legion? Oh, I feel like you guys are a couple <laughs> seconds ahead of me. Legion. She just pulled out the that gun. Very obscure reference. <laughs> yeah, we're a couple ahead of you, Paul. She pulled out the gun. Oh, shit. These oh, cars are their re- ass out of here. These cars it's a are really chaotic movie. There's just people moving all over the place and lots of things happening at once. It's like, what are these cars? I say they're like Mad Max looking cars. Yeah, it's like they look like bumper cars almost. They're like attached to things. 
there has to be like some of these movies just have to be somebody who has money born into a rich family or something or has the right connections and just like went to college took shrooms once or whatever and was like i have got so many ideas in my mind and then forgot what shrooms were actually like and then just tried to like re-emulate what they thought it was like it's an elaborate explanation for why this is ridiculous Oh, this is supposed to be Toad, this guy with the guitar. Who's he supposed to be? Toad, like the oh. mushroom, the mushroom guy. Perfect. Dude, they really should have just had one solid mushroom just <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> this is Toad, just sitting there in the grass, not moving, no face, no lips. I want to know what the sets were like during these movies. <laughs> it's got to be so bad. Like, it literally drove them to drink every day. <laughs> yes, these guys. These are my favorites. Oh, God, yeah. These guys, Bo, you just got to them. <laughs> these guys with yeah, the they just bad. popped in. Uh, you're a little bit behind us. Yeah, when you restarted. I'll pause mine for, like, I think it was five. Wait. Who's supposed to be Princess Peach? The blonde there, girl? There isn't a Peach. She's just Daisy. It's like Bowser isn't in this. It's King Koopa. Peach isn't in it. She's basically Daisy. That is so dumb. I got that. The, the glass windows right now. Or the doors with the car. They didn't guess like they didn't go through because it got stopped. I was predicting something. I'm just trying to see how aligned up we are. Yeah, no, I I can see in the mirror. Can... Oh, yeah, here. Let me just help you out. Oh. Bo, I think you and I are pretty synced up now. Okay. Oh, I like this. There's three more. you get that? Are you at their names? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. I can actually see the thing playing in Bo's... Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, Bo, you and, you and me are at the same spot. They're getting cleaned right now. Yep. Did you see their name is Mario Mario and Mario Luigi. Mario. Yeah, it's like, how many Marios are there? There's three Marios. There's Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. There's three Marios in all their names. <laughs> the, you know what this reminds me of, but on a really shitty scale, is like the Escape from New York and Escape from... <laughs> Angeles movies. I never saw Escape from LA because I heard it was bad. I love Escape from New York though. But yeah, you're right. Like it's that same like let's that just wear leather jacket. And like, very chaotic. There's lots of stuff happening all the time. Mm hmm That's what these remind oh, me of, but it's terrible. Like how short are these guys? They're, they're like five four and five three <laughs> according to this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like not even five and <laughs> They're like barely five, six. <laughs> Why do they just have sparks everywhere? Fix your machines. Jesus. It adds a level of grittiness, Quinn. Dude, they definitely shot this at like the local humane like society, but like the bad version of the humane society. The, the like, back room they don't let the kids see. <laughs> what is a point? Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> I don't want to save the dogs that are on their last week before they're put down. Like, that's literally what this is. Like, where can we just shoot where that has a bunch of random cages? Toad is – Oh, yeah. You need to be oh, playing. here you go. So, this is Toad explaining, like, what happened because they're in a different dimension right now. So, when the meteorite killed the dinosaurs, it didn't really kill them. It created a separate parallel dimension that all the dinosaurs got sent to. So, that's where they're at right now. And that's why, like, dinosaurs kept evolving, so now they look like humans, but they're actually lizards. I'm kind of prepared for that in, like, real life right now. Just something hit <laughs> us. It's not a bad dimension. Let's just flip the switch and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? 
<laughs> yeah, no, Quinn. Like, it's not terrible. Oh, okay, dinosaurs got sent in parallel, parallel dimension. Like, it, it's not terrible, but the execution here. A lot worse uh, plots in movies that uh, do a better job. No. What the fuck? You cannot touch this remote without something happening. I told you to put it on the other side of the living room. I need to throw the remote to the, remote to the side. Where are you guys right now? How far in? 35 minutes. Okay, I got to go back. All right, 34.55 right now. Perfect, perfect. Okay. All right, I'm putting the remote over there so I don't even get close. There. Sorry, I was pouring myself another drink, so I was like, <laughs> get a little ahead of myself here. <laughs> And speaking of which, I'm grabbing another one right now, too. I need to drink as much as possible while watching this. Dude, it's Monday. Yeah. <laughs> it's like celebrating your life on a Monday After rather than long. drinking while watching this. Wedding, wedding weekend this past weekend. You did? Yeah. Jake. Was that, was it like a big wedding? Not, not big as in size. Uh, they had less than 30 people there. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that makes sense. I feel like it's hard to have a big wedding right now. No, I see such a germaphobe. Did they explain Marie that? had... I don't know if they did. What? Maria was supposed to work 13 weddings, I think she said, this summer and fall, and they all rescheduled the next year already. Obviously, yeah. I mean, you had to reschedule early on, but... So she's going to have double weddings next summer? No, she'll probably just take less weddings next year. That's my guess. Yeah. Means a lot of one on one baby time for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hope the kid loves watching me play NBA 2K <laughs> <laughs> and watching shitty movies. Just sit, right. sit him or her down, and just watch these yeah. movies. Riding my back while I mow the lawn and yeah. <laughs> move mulch. We'll see you later, alligator. Oh, this CGI is amazing. Yeah, look at this transformation scene. I will say one My thing God. about Bone Tomahawk, Matt. No CGI. It's all practical effects. Yeah. Hey, a lot of this is practical. <laughs> the, the city, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. So he de-evolves them into those tiny-headed creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Goombas. <laughs> Look at this guy. You guys are like three seconds ahead of me. What is that? It's so tiny. <laughs> okay, wait. If this helps you guys, if you need to change anything, this is where I am. I'm not changing shit. Right. A, we, I think we would just pause it for like. All right, let's pause it because Bo's going to screw up again. I put the remote away so I can't accidentally hit this right, little joystick. Pause thing. it right now. One, two. All right, play. Are we good? I'm good with you, Quinn. If you hit play, then we're good. I'm good. All right. It's best off by the sounds of it that you guys are ahead and have to adjust to me because I'm not sure that I could handle yeah. it. Why is his head so tiny? <laughs> Look at those teeth. Because <laughs> he's, he's reduced to Dude, a it's simpler like, form. Someone had a nightmare about a snapping turtle becoming a human. It was like, this is what it would look like. You got a harmonica. Look at this guy. Harmonica. <laughs> he's a musical. He's a musical artist. The fact that they keep saying arrest these plumbers and plumbers is just so idiotic. I feel like in the video game you have no idea they're plumbers Dude, other than the fact that they oh, found those King green Koopa right here. What? Is this gonna become King Koopa right here? This goofball? Kind um, of. It's like the start of it. Ooh. He's, he's basically he's Dennis Hopper, I think mostly. Dude, they're really set on the fact that these guys are plumbers. They can't just be like, "Hey, it's two dudes trying to save a city or something." It's like I feel like in the video game you, you rarely realize they're plumbers, but in this dude, movie, they're talking about they, mushrooms. They, right. Yeah, they're there we go. I'm telling you, this is the fact. These two, whoever wrote this movie, had one experience in college, and is trying to reminisce or remember what that 
experience was like. I had a shitty trip. That's what I got. It's like that guy at Tomorrow World where. Uh, Which one? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a good point. But I'm thinking about the one that was sitting there at the like after party with the tents that had like everybody was dancing offbeat music. Like nobody was on beat with the music. And there was the guy with his sweatshirt like pulled over his knees, rocking back and forth. And all you could see was the white of his eyes. And he was just. I like the guy that was dancing to his own beat that was not at all with the music. <laughs> Or the guy strapped a dildo to his head and was running around <laughs> poking people with it. Classic member society. Oh, you allegedly due to drinking on set, John Leguizamo was hit by a car, breaking his leg. You can even see the cast in some shots of the movie. That is hilarious. So this is like a true thing that they were just getting hammered yeah. the entire time while making this movie. I have so much more respect for it now. Like, this is honestly amazing. <laughs> Kevin Costner turned down the offer to play King Koopa. <laughs> I can't believe that. So they went to Dennis Hopper. <laughs> Kevin was Costner. Kevin Bacon Come- next? What? Was Kevin Bacon next? No, I don't. Dennis think Hopper was going for it. It's funny. I think Kevin, Kevin Bacon Costner- was too busy making Tremors. I think, yeah, Tremors. That did come out around this time. You know, what's funny, though, is Kevin Costner made Waterworld not that long after this, which has Dennis Hopper in it. <laughs> hey, I, I don't understand why Waterworld gets so much hate. It's actually not a bad movie. I haven't seen it in forever, so I, I remember not hating it. It's entertaining. Alien plumbers. <laughs> oh my god. Where'd they get those pictures? That, oh no, they're mug shot. That's right. I'm like, where'd they get those pictures? Why did every movie in the early 90s have this same look of like sparks in dark industrial? Told you, because it's gritty. <laughs> It's dark and gritty. It shows. Dude, I'm telling you, I have. Yeah, but a think of the the Jackie Chan movie, the Brooklyn one. It's same look. Yeah. I'm telling you though, I think that style is gonna come back. I just have a feeling that like the whole like cyberpunk, like it feels like the the like play Rent or whatever. Just like that old like New York City like fire escape alleyway style is gonna come back or something. I don't know why. I play Mad Max. Mad Max. Mad Max, like, it isn't, like, the cars look like this to an extent, but, like, it's just a wasteland world, though. Like, I wouldn't call that anything like this. What the fuck? I also, like, what is with the, like, every car here? It's, like, supposed to take place in the air. I know they're in a different parallel universe or whatever, or dimension. Yeah. But, like... I don't think yeah, I guess I just don't know. I guess that explains my question. I just answered it. It's a parallel dimension. That's like the answer to anything I have right now. Yeah, parallel dimension. What was the movie with uh, Jason Statham about like all the tripped out cars? He was in prison. Death and race. They drive around in a track death, and they death all race. try and kill each other. Death what was it called? Death race. Death race. Yes. The movie's good. I actually. Like- it was surprisingly entertaining. I did yeah, watch really it. I was like, I can't believe this is good. But Jason Statham also feels like one of those guys that no matter what, like. He's kind of badass enough that he makes it good enough to watch. You, like I well, like take, what was so take okay, good good example here. Take Jason Statham and Vin Diesel and put them in the Mario and Luigi roles in this movie. Sure. <laughs> what kind of movie would that be? Which, one, which one's which? Who's got to wear the mustache? I mean, <laughs> two bald headed guys with zero facial hair. Because <laughs> he's got a he's got a. He's hair. He's got a bigger ego, and Jason Statham will take Luigi and make it get the most badass Luigi of all time. Yeah. Let's give Jason Statham like a just like a mustache, like one of the like Halloween <laughs> ones. That would it. be so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, that, look at this! The fungus is practical effects, Quinn. This still looks pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll give him that. I feel like they did a better job than. Uh, Velocipastor. 
with the the, the dino suit. I don't know. That's hey, shut your suit mouth, though. Is my favorite shut thing. I mouth. told I told my coworker that he has to watch it solely so we could talk about it at work the next day. <laughs> It only takes an hour to do it, so why not? That's like, he's like, I was 10 minutes in, and I was ready to turn it off and call you an idiot. And then I saw it was only an hour, and I was like, all right, I'll finish the rest of it. <laughs> Look at this, he's bathing in this shit. Maybe this whole movie is based around this guy trying to find his eyebrows. <laughs> It's actually what it's about. Plot it's twist. nothing else. Plot twist. I like his, his chops, too. It's great. That's what I'm saying. Like, they were like, we're going to give you all the customized, like, your hair is interesting. You got interesting facial hair, but you can't have eyebrows. Oh, well, here's something positive out of this movie. Producers from Jurassic Park visited the set and were so impressed with the Yoshi puppet, which we haven't seen yet. They briefly considered hiring his engineers for the second Jurassic Park uh, creature shop, whatever that means. But they didn't. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's just a random fact. I'm just looking at the trivia on IMDb, and if I see it's something like, good, I'm just saying. Right, it's like when an NFL team looks at like some, some like, like – FCS school football play and they're like that is the only cool thing you've ever done so you might steal it and put it in a playbook but we know it's probably going to still get destroyed in the NFL <laughs> Ooh, her mouth is creepily small <laughs> how does she even like put a are they trying to find mouth. the princess or something? Is that what all these women are in here for? Yeah, they've been capturing like women from Jesus Earth. Christ, lady, let them breathe. I've realized I've had I have like a personal vendetta against two types of people in this world. One, people that run with traffic instead of against traffic. That's I know what, you have that pet. Yeah, pet I know. It really pet fucking pet pisses me off. I'm fucking thing I'm like a, and then people that don't have upper lips. They're just like really tiny. You hate the British. I don't hate the British. I just hate British. <laughs> That's not true. I just don't like Ben Jellico. <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. At least you've singled it to one person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's getting a bigger brain now. Oh, yeah. This dude literally has the trendiest haircut of 2020. That's what I'm telling you. He would, like, not be horrible if... He didn't have like the hooded suit jacket and weird jeans or pants You're on. You're really the goatee, and you'd be good. No, I even think goatees are in a little bit now. I think some like guys can. Goatees pull them are off. definitely not in. Not like full goatees, but if you cut it off like around like the edge of your lips, so it's like you just have it here, and then a mustache and like a little soul patch. Like there's dudes that rep that that actually look decent. But you got it's one of those things where it's like you rep it if you look attractive in the first place type of thing so i'll tell you what wouldn't, why wouldn't king koopa do this to himself this is literally what i was about to say he's just making these two idiots smarter giving them bigger brains why doesn't he do that for himself and everyone else that he like cares like close to him maybe it's like covid maybe we don't know what's gonna happen in like five years he doesn't want to risk it could be side effects you don't know about from it You can tell they're smart now. This guy doesn't have eyebrows either, does he? Yeah, he, he does. They're just on. Yeah, so he's he just... actually does have eyebrows, Bo, but they're like really low. They're like just on the top of his eyes. He, <laughs> just like he a... blinks with his eyebrows. Yeah. It's just like windshield wipers. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> what do you know about Okay, grow an upper lip. You're pissing me off, lady. <laughs> Seriously, this movie looks like it took place in the 70s. Why was it shot in 1994? 
It was 94, right, when it came out? Yeah, uh, 93. 93. Yeah. I just watched The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly the other day. It looks so much better than this movie. It was shot in the 70s. Yeah, it's funny you say that, actually. I had never watched the Dollars trilogy, and I am yeah. watching them. I'm not guys... bad and ugly now. I watched the first two for the first time. You know it's a good Phenomenal movie. movies. On a cartoon, I get not a video game, but a cartoon that happened in the 90s. It just reminded me, because I feel like it's in the same realm as this movie, is the Flintstone movie. With John that Goodman. Was also garbage. With John Goodman. Ricky and I've Rick seen that. I love that movie. <laughs> what did you say, Quinn? That's garbage, but it's better garbage than this yeah it's but it's still like it's hilarious Ellie Berry's in that right I think she is she's like the trying to flirt with yeah she's the yeah. um the secretary yeah yes she's the secretary yeah I haven't seen that in forever but no that's better than this yeah have you and uh Haley touched on and the Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith no. Red table talk that everybody no, yeah, talking about. We recorded our last episode on like, oh shit, like Wednesday of last week. That, is that thing Man. on? Sorry, I just like it looked like you could see that it had like puppet things attached. Oh, well, it's just a chain. Is, this sorry, is Yoshi. Go ahead. Sorry, this is Yoshi. This is what the Jurassic Park people like so much. Oh, the Jurassic Park is still better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were like, they actually probably were like, can you just tell us how you did it? And they gave it and they're like, all right, now we got the fundamentals. It's like, we're going to make it better. We'll make it way better. Um, but uh, uh, we our movie animatronics were better than that. Yeah. But uh, we, uh, we recorded our last episode like last Wednesday. So I think that came out after. Yeah, I don't, I literally didn't know it was happening until like Maria said something about it. And then I literally just like watched the video today. Yeah, I haven't watched the video, but they've had a weird marriage, like, for the longest time where they've been like, oh, it's kind of an open relationship, but it's, I feel like it's always Jada who is, like, kind of doing the open relationship end of things. Yeah. Um, But it's always been kind of weird, so, like, I'm not shocked, but it's still kind of, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just weird that it was August Alsina, like, that's not, the dude that's nothing like Will Smith. Yeah, like I have no idea what you guys are talking about. No, uh, uh, Jada uh, and Will Smith have recently, like Jada, recently admitted that when they were kind of separated, like uh, a couple years ago, uh, she slept with someone else. Why would she admit that publicly? I think Will Smith knew about it. Okay, so why would you announce that publicly? Yeah, that's the thing. It's weird. Why would you do it? Well, and he, it the guy's famous. Like such an he's like August Alsina, not, who's like... She's not as successful as her husband. She's not as successful as her kid. No. She seems like an attention but It's The thing is, August Alsina is like, I don't know, I'm guessing he's like mid-20s now. He like, he's like a famous R&B singer, so he's like not nobody. But it's still weird to be like, yeah, to mention it like in a... Sorry. public setting like yeah, that that's yeah. what's weird. he's 27 yeah and now will smith is uh is a meme sad will smith is like <laughs> i've seen that all over the place now new crying jordan yeah exactly oh i like will i like will too he's like, never he, done I mean, a bad thing in his uh, life it's gonna be what was the movie it's uh zombie land when uh what's his face i can't believe he's like one of my favorite actors. Bill Murray. Bill? Woody Harrelson. Not Bill Murray. What? Yeah, yeah, Woody Bill, Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. He's wiping away tears with his money. That's what Will Smith <laughs> is doing right now. <laughs> well, I've always, I mean, I watch Fresh Prince all the time as a kid. And, you know, I, I watch a bunch of his, I like Will Smith. I, that's why I always thought it was weird, their marriage. Like how. It I, don't know, I feel like a lot of celebrity marriages are more cordial like that, where it's like, hey, we respect the fact that we're going to live rich ass lives and our kids are going to live rich ass lives and let's just do whatever we want outside of it. Like it's a mutual understanding. Yeah. Maybe not them, but I feel like that does happen. I'm glad these guys got so smart. They're making me dumber. 
I'm glad they made them so smart and they still got tricked by these fucking plumbers. Of the, like, if you took a percentage of time so far that we've talked about this movie, it might be 50-50 on oh, off topic. Those are, hey, those are good done. odds from other live watches I've done. <laughs> I mean, there's some where I've watched, they just never talk about the movie they're watching. You know what I mean? <laughs> They just call each other butthead, uh, something eater, like the worst insults ever. Dude, it's PG. This is rated PG. Is it? Or is it? It can't be rate, rated more than PG. You think yeah, Super P- Mario P- Brothers? PG. Yeah, yeah um, they need to make uh, this Vin Diesel in it. They earlier can, it's a blast according to the washington post you know all these damn remakes they're making nowadays let's let's give the mario <laughs> one uh <laughs> let's give him another the shot the this is so Super mario brothers the movie shot. was so bad and bombed so bad at the box office it set video game movies back like 10 years like i think they had a couple movies lined up that they were going to make after this like metroid prime or something but this was so bad. They just like Nintendo went. Nope, we're not letting Hollywood touch any of our products Dude, now. Optimus Prime Dude. one would, be, or did you say Optimus Prime or Metroid. Metroid? Metroid would be a great one. I think so too. But I literally, I'll have to look this up. But I think Nintendo didn't make another movie like live action until the Pikachu one, like a, like a, like two years, years ago. What? With yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Holy cow. Was that one any good? It was all right. I've seen it. Like, I, I don't I like po- Pokemon as a kid. I don't really care about it now. But that movie was, it was still okay. It's the weird it's difference is now that there's so many, like, this is different. Like, I feel like Nintendo games are different because they have such a legendary factor to them. Like Super Mario Brothers or... <laughs> Well, anything just, like like Zelda, whatever, all that stuff. But like, um, half the games made now these days that get like really rave reviews are almost like forty hour movies in themselves. Yeah. No, like the Last of Us Part Two just came out, yeah. and like I know the Last of Us, which I never really played. I played like I played part it, of it, but I just phenomenal. It's a better movie than any movie. That's I've- what everybody says. It's like the greatest thing and part two is supposed to be really good. And then like Red Dead Redemption, like yeah. all these things. It's like you're playing out a movie in it. And it's yeah. I've started uh I've started playing through the Souls games. Like uh, I'm playing Bloodborne right now. Yeah. It's better it's like a freaking best one of the best novels. Like no one could even write a novel as good as this game. right. Yeah. And, like, nope. even the Spider-Man game that came out, whatever it was yeah. called, like, Amazing Spider- I don't know if that's... It was just Spider-Man. All. On the Amazing PS4. Spider-Man? Yeah. It was just... Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah. That was, like, I think it won, like, Game of the Year. Yeah, like, that was phenomenal. Yeah. Right. So, it's just... I think it's almost... God of War. The, the last God of War that came out was amazing. Well, I think... Okay, well, you're, you're bringing up good points. Like, video games these days just have a storyline. Super Mario Brothers, it was just start here... Rescue the princess. Oh, yeah, there was no no storyline. It was just right. It's like so they had to make one up, which is part of the problem. What do they call them? Where it's just levels get to the end, just start finish story to it or anything like that. It's like Zelda didn't really get interesting until like Ocarina of Time when there's an actual like kind of that was. I mean, 64 was probably the start of when stories in video games happen, yeah, because even Sonic, like Sonic is the same as. Um, Super Mario Brothers is like start here and here as quickly as possible. That movie apparently isn't that bad though. But that's the yeah, they had to invent a storyline for it. But I haven't seen that, but I heard that movie's pretty good. It needs to be a Crash Bandicoot movie. Oh dude, I love that game. Me too. <laughs> I love I played that all the time. Me and Tyler, like we haven't played it very recently, but we downloaded like they re-released or maybe they released it a long time ago but like the nitro kart racing version okay it's like crash bandicoot but like super mario kart racing version with crash play diddy kong racing it sounds like that it's probably similar but everybody like it's actually so much better because when you turn you can do this like double jump boost thing that like if you get really good at the game it changes everything instead of like you know super mario kart's all about like your luck of what you draw when you hit the 
Yeah, you know, yeah. Some game nerd will get pissed off about me and be like, there's not really a strategy to it. But, like, depends on what you get as a weapon, you know? Yeah. But, like, this thing, it's like, it feels like it actually takes some serious skill to be good because when I play with Tyler, he whoops my ass every time. Oh, Tyler. Can we – kids- that kid's a freak at like yeah if you pl- play me in nba 2k bro i'll take you out can we quickly <laughs> acknowledge that they're wearing dumb and dumber suits <laughs> like yellow and red suits. yeah i mean this came out before dumb and dumber i think so i'm gonna say was it after because that'd be funny it feels like a subtle hint at it it's this even is a bit- big woman yes oh jesus Oh man! Yep. Who is this lady supposed to be? Just that's that's random. Jackie Chan's uncle's wife from Rumble in the Bronx. <laughs> Jackie's new aunt. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what if they tie this into Rumble in the Bronx? <laughs> they're in the same universe. <laughs> like when oh they're back God, in Brooklyn no. on Earth, you just see Jackie running from <laughs> those yeah. dogs. <laughs> It's it literally just all comes to the very ending. He's just dry the ending of this movie is him driving He's across driving the, through the, with the airboat. I mean, they have the same costume, so I think it <laughs> it's like a Tarantino thing. Yeah, like they're all in the same. Like everything's the same involved universe. of the whole universe. Oh, here come the Goombas. Are there any like Tarantino movies that would fit the like premise of like a good movie that's yes. bad but could yes. be good. I got one. Uh the vampire one. Uh till dust till dawn. Du- t- from dust till dawn. You didn't direct that, but I think you wrote it. I feel like Tarantino would Robert be like Rodriguez. A, and like a good director for this. Cause if he makes a bad movie, it's one of those things where like he usually his movies are entertaining and good enough that you could it's super entertaining, but yeah, it's definitely not considered one of his great movies. What is Ding? Oh, the necklace? Yeah. How Dude, did I like the song? This is a good song. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh, is she going to go crazy? It's a hilarious now? song placement. Dude, that is every. So moment of my 20s at a bar have to finish my glass before i go anywhere else okay so i know i'm i'm Bam. i know i'm looking into this too much but if they they split this dimension right when the meteorite hit would they know the term dinosaur true were there dinosaurs before like, they split it like they were the dinosaurs and they just oh is mario and this big girl gonna get together Oh, yes. Here come their boots because you got to have them be able to jump real high because they do that in the video game. Did you game. get it? They had crates. They hit the crates. Like boxes. Oh, yeah. Yep. I just <laughs> there's tiny ass little heads just 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 ridiculous. That would be like running with like snowboarding boots on your feet. That can't be too comfortable, right, Quinn? They literally just had a two minute sequence where they said one word apiece. <laughs> the rock, Goombas, police, the tower, jump. I got two words for you. Vodka soda. <laughs> Why is this fungus all over everything? They they actually do explain that. Here, this is actually it. Oh. Now this is starting to look like something from the OA. That was a weird show. I only watched the first season of that. That's all you had to watch. The second season, it ended... The ending was too weird. I like uh, don't want to watch. Weirder than the choreographed season. dancing of the first season ending. Oh, is that the end of the first season? Yeah. When in the, school, the school shooter. Yeah, and they're in oh, the. I, I only watched the first season. <laughs> what are you doing? I watched, 
Yeah, I only watched the first season then because that was too much. I was like, uh. What the hell is he talking to? So he's talking to the pre, like the king, the actual king of this world. But uh, he de evolved him so much that he's just fungus. So that's why there's so much fungus uh, in the city, is because like the former king is like spreading all this over. This is too much. <laughs> and there's that's that's the tours. That's Daisy's fungus, dad, too. Like, dimension. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So, yeah, that the fungus is Daisy's dad because he's, like, the actual king and she's the princess. So, this is just reminding me, and this is just, like, should save this after for after, but, like, I'm going to yeah. forget it. And maybe we said it before. Maybe it's on the list, but bad movie might be good movie to me i loved it as a kid so i think it's one of those things it's a question it's demolition man demolition man is awesome i remember that movie <laughs> i don't know if it is awesome that's the it thing awesome. it's a I watched that movie all the time as a kid same <laughs> style though same exact that's what i'm th- that's why it's reminding me like it's like a futuristic thing but it's like not futuristic like it's this is not what the world is like or ever going to be in any situation but Oh, look, good thing they're plumbers. Oh, sh- it's an apprentice part. He's going to teach him some plumbing techniques. Bro, it looks like you have a mold problem. Why does Luigi not have green on him? Why does Mario not have red on? Like, they couldn't even get that right? That's actually, that's something that, like, people kind of, like, Wait, don't about. they like, wear their costumes at the end? That I was, I was waiting. Yeah, I mean. Here, here you go. Sorry. Right? I guess I, here, you literally, two seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought they had their costumes. I was, I was trying to, yeah, like. They eventually get there, but a bit was like, how are they not in their costumes? Like, why are they so much shorter than everybody? Dude, why are these Goombas so massive? With the tiniest heads. Actually, their heads are probably regular size. Like, their heads are probably the same size as Mario and Luigi. But, I like, like their. Li- oh my god! I just, I just remembered what happens in this elevator and how they get out of this situation. Oh, you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be great guy still hasn't found his eyebrows so the movie's not over yet no i'll he'll find those eyebrows when she finds her lip <laughs> yeah this is the back she's a competition this is actually a game of survivor what if, what if his person actual find actual their body part Dennis Hopper definitely didn't mail in this performance. He is- oh, he's all out. Like, he's going for it. I like to imagine the other two guys, guys are just getting really good murdered. actors do try really hard in bad movies. I mean, he's on set it, here like, going, or- I'm finally getting my best supporting actor Oscar. Like, he's on set going, like, I'm, I'm winning it. What? They just crawled between them? Yes. Yeah. I just like to imagine that these two dudes are drunk all the time, Mar- Mario and Luigi. <laughs> and Dennis Hopper sitting there practicing his lines in the trailer next door, his lines and stuff. And these guys are just taking yeah. like they're just taking <laughs> bombs off of their shitty trailer table. Yeah, playing beer pong like in a hotel where you just yeah. get two tiny tables together. <laughs> playing. Are these Goombas supposed to be really dumb? Yes, they okay. shrink their brain. How did you not? They have tiny brains. Quinn, how did you miss the entire plot line? There's so many plot lines going on. I don't know. What's with their glasses? Oh, yeah. Yoshi is creepy. 
Yoshi. This is the worst. Why are they dancing with him? I don't get it. Yoshi kind of gives me that alien vibe. Dude, this needs to be like a Universal Studios ride in Florida. Just with these creepy Goombas. Dude, they're really creepy, right? Harmonica Goomba. Jesus. Yeah, Harmonica Goomba. What was the word that they use in The Sopranos? Do you remember, Matt, that is it for like the mistress of the members of the mafia? It's like, is it, it's not Goomba, is it? It's not, oh. or is it Guma? Go, uh, Guma sounds better. Or it's just going to be spelled like Goomba, though, and I'm going to laugh my ass off. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Bar, G O O M A R. Wait, say it again. Gumar. Oh, Gumar? I might be saying it wrong, but that's what that's what it says. G O O M A R. Yeah, that's not what I remember them saying. Uh, it's a Gumar. Oh, also Guma. Okay, I think it is just Guma. It says Gumar, also Guma or Komar. Can be. As I said. I think they say Guma. Okay. But yeah, in Soprano speak is often used to denote. Oh, Yoshi trick. Oh, look at the tongue. There it is. There's the Yoshi tongue. Sick. The one thing Yoshi does in anything, he sticks his tongue out. And there he goes. Oh, she just fucking stabbed him. Or Guma. That yeah, that's what you said, Guma. Yeah. G O M A A M A H. What is going on? They're getting they're getting them to dance to distract them while they get away. That's what I was saying. Like, I guess I, they are stupid. Like they're supposed to be stupid. But how do you? Get, why do you? Why do they dance? I don't get that. They they started moving them and they started feeling the music. Now look at them go. Why didn't they just climb up out of the elevator is, in the first place? This is how Justin tries to get girls at bars. His ten hut. <laughs> This is how Justin tries to get girls at bars. He's watching too much. Damn, side Mario to side, and home, and they just join in. <laughs> just start dancing. Nah, Justin's them. head's way bigger than these guys' heads. He's a, <laughs> yeah, that's true. It'd be the opposite body shape. <laughs> yes, it's, if you just took the head size, put it as the body. No, if you saw Justin lately, this is like a personal thing, so it doesn't really attribute to the podcast, but that kid looks like he's just eating sticks of butter. <laughs> I heard he's getting thick. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Goomba thick is a way to put it. Got her a bunch of vegetables to eat because she said she was a vegetarian. Now he's on fire. Oh, she likes it, Goomba? Yeah, this one was Toad. He got oh. turned into... But he, he's been nice to her. Wait, are these guys good now? Yeah, they're helping them out now. These guys just waddle, too, when they run. It's hilarious. Well, when you don't have eyebrows, it throws off your equilibrium. <laughs> the Goombas. I mean, maybe they don't have eyebrows either, I guess. It just looks like a giant turd going in and out of a hole. <laughs> These guys should start a new metal band. Oh yeah, that metal band. Yes. Yeah, that I watched, we watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure the other night. Uh the oh, the original? Yeah. Most excellent. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's why he got him to dance because everybody loves to dance. <laughs> there we are. That's his explanation. Well, they don't want to be friends, or they do want to be friends. You can dance if you want to. You ain't no friend of mine. Go with that song. It was a bad joke. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Maria was just texting me because she was mad that I made fun of Justin <laughs> in the podcast. I was like, he's not going to care. I'll tell him I made fun of him. <laughs>
<laughs> Why do they have rainbow colored belts? And How stuff? do you not feel or notice that you got hooked by that thing? It's very casual. <laughs> They look way closer in age when you give them a costume that just, like, you know, covers up everything. <laughs> Who wrote the dialogue for this? Because it is amazing. Yeah, I think, I think dialogue-wise, I may have heard 3% of what's happened so far. <laughs> I mean, you could extrapolate that into 100%. And you would be... Right? Uh-huh. Dude, Yoshi is so creepy. <laughs> yeah, why Yoshi's so cute and personable in like every game and this he's, he's so creepy in this. He's giving me that alien resurrection vibe. <laughs> alien resurrection. <laughs> Who directed this? Did they direct like any what other movie or like r- wrote it? Like, who, who is the person responsible for this? Who is responsible for this? Who, who is responsible? <laughs> it's just, you have everything laid out for you. All you had to do is not do exactly what you did. So what else are you responsible for in life? <laughs> I like how this is clearly when the NES was really popular. You know, Duck Hunt with the, with the gun that you'd shoot at the screen. Yes. Because that's what that's, that how she, that's how she uses this computer. There's like a gun that you point and shoot at it. <laughs> Look, listen, we'll we'll get Nintendo in there somehow and just yeah. incorporate another game with a random C. <laughs> Look at there he is with his gun that he uses. <laughs> Just fucking eat the mushrooms so you can power up. Right? I'm telling you, uh, there's something about this that just reeks of drugs. What I said before, some dude that just had one experience in college and just this is what he thought it was like. And he ended up playing Mario for like 10 <laughs> hours straight. He, he got high on mushrooms and played Mario and then wrote the <laughs> script to this movie. <laughs> yes. And then he spent all his trust fund money and made this movie. He just slipped some DMT and went to another world. Watched his life in 15 minutes, five minutes. Mario's life in five minutes, and this is what it is. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. There's still like 20-some minutes of this movie left. Is there really? <laughs> this is like the first actual movie we watched. Like everything else is so damn short. It's like yeah. hour twenty. This, hour. Is, this has maybe been. I mean, one of the longest ones. It's definitely the longest. I think. I mean, Velocity Pastor was a yeah, I mean, so short. Yeah. First Strike was pretty short. Legend of the Drunken Master might have been the next longest. Yeah, I think so. Why doesn't she evolve him back into his whatever he was before this? Yeah. Also, what is King Koopa doing? Why isn't he? He knows who they are. Yeah, he's watching them on camera. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. (laughs) What? (laughs) <laughs> this looks like the inside of a sound like a, a studio <laughs> there's like uh, soundproofing everywhere why is he walking so like man no, such a weird walk <laughs> again the goombas are just nine feet tall apparently dude what why are they so big I want to see one without their suits on. Like, what is <laughs> their body? Their suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's so true. I never thought of that before. That's so true. That could have been a comedic part. You just rip off the costume and it's just he's whatever. Just, he's just a bunch costume. of little Goombas underneath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just super skinny with the coat. Yeah. Like eight, just has like shoulder pads on. on. Yeah. Typical like 80s, 90s fashion. Just like over the top shoulder pads on their yeah. suit jackets. <laughs> Lady, your lips not there. I definitely don't think I've ever watched this movie. I was, I was gonna ask, does any of this seem familiar to you? I I don't think so. No. I honestly think that when I Googled it and that picture popped up, I was just thinking it was like the dinosaur show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He thinks he's hidden on this totally visible catwalk. Right? Like, how is he not spotted? The hell are the, all these other chicks? They're all the women that got captured thinking they're Princess Daisy. Go ahead, finish that beer. Oh, yeah, here we go. Some athleticism. That might have been the first act. Nice. Sick. That's a very Jackie Chan-esque move. That is the biggest fight scene in the whole movie right there. <laughs> Just swang, kick the guy in the chest, it's over. Oh, not to mention he's, he's definitely dead after that. Because mm -hmm. he's not oh. a nine-foot-tall dinosaur. Well, she just smacked him in the head, too. That helps. Like, double tap. Yeah. Quinn, we're not totally sure that they're nine foot dinosaurs. It could be nine one foot. Well, dinosaurs. okay, if you're comparing to Mario and Luigi, he might be six foot four. Yeah, but it could be nine one foot dinosaurs. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we don't know that yet. They haven't taken off the jackets. <laughs> I love how Dennis Hopper is like so serious throughout all of this. I'm telling you, he was practicing so hard. That was actually a theory I had in Veloc Pass that I forgot to mention that obviously wasn't true, but I would have loved if it came out that the like main actor that got hired thought that his role was totally serious and <laughs> took it serious. I mean, all the rest of the movie existed around him. That's actually how I feel about Dennis Hopper right now. Oh, it's, yeah. He is like so serious. And everybody else in this movie was like, we just need a they're all drunk. Privately funded drug, like, <laughs> rampage for the next three months. You just need to go oh on a bender. God. What is happening? We'll make a movie out of it. <laughs> Jeez. I'd rather be on the roller coaster ride with the Goombas. They seem a lot more fun. They actually filmed this at the Kalahari Resort. <laughs> well, at least they got the physics right of this. The Goombas are probably way more, so they definitely would have caught up. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of friction going on. Why is there ice? Oh. They rem remember, Quinn, because how could you forget? They're plumbers, and when they were, like, in the basement, they turned off. I don't know. They did plumbing things, and they said, all right, it's going to get really cold in here now. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. What? Dude, classic move. Stick the wrench in the random hole on the way down your slip and slide. This seems like a start to a porno where a guy with a, a an Italian guy with a mustache is gonna bang all these chicks. Where are they gonna end up is a real Mario question. should have actually been played by Ron Jeremy. <laughs> yes. He's a very yes. similar character. And Luigi played by Zach Efron. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't really fit the profile. What the fuck? Are they gliding on this mattress? How far are they going to go? Uh, I feel bad for the Goombas. They're not very smart and they just keep getting beat up. Oh, 
that was a coincidence that Luigi and Daisy just happened to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, your pizza's here? What the fuck was that? Yeah, he ordered a pizza earlier. You missed that. <laughs> the Koombas are dancing again. <laughs> why is he? Oh, he's a germaphobe. I was like, why is he holding walkie talkie with like a piece of plastic? Yeah. But that makes sense. <laughs> Sick move. Yeah, one good they definitely, head. they definitely shot every indoor shot in this movie in the same exact room. <laughs> or like, and it was like an arcade or something. Like it was an arcade that had like a laser tag arena on one side, and then just like an arcade room on the other side, and they just flip back and forth. Do we want more lights or less lights? <laughs> Trust the fungus tagline for the movie. No one's ever said that. <laughs> Not a flamethrower. <laughs> Why don't they have bullets in this universe? I feel like they'd be more effective than a flamethrower. Don't you remember that Elon Musk thing? He made the flamethrower, but he had to legally not call it a flamethrower. Oh, yeah. So he's like, not a flamethrower. <laughs> nope. Oh. She might be dead. Maybe she'll find her up. Nope, she's not dead. Her hair is classically messed up, though, after that. Still on the lip. Oh, man, Mario's so smart. Give it to me. Why does it seem like half the lines in this movie were, like, re-recorded after... <laughs> and they just like, dubbed it over the top. Probably <laughs> because uh, he was drunk during filming and couldn't <laughs> say words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> they had to dub it over later. <laughs> Do the same thing, but like more sober this time. But sober, please. Where is she going? <laughs> she's. Oh, man. She's running to put the little rock in the meteorite. Oh. Well, the that tech you have just have skeletons of things on them. Why did you stop to yell at her then? Just fucking then run in there and tackle her. She could have pushed that in by now. Classic, Bo, you've said of a classic, like, stop yeah. the thing just to explain it. Move yeah. It's my big pet peeve, other than people running on the with traffic and people not having upper lips. That's third. You know, I will say one thing. Mario's got an amazing mustache. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is a solid one. Ew, that is a gross shot. The guy's face it was just his nose and his eyes. Was... Yeah, it was a little close. That was the drug. That was after he'd been drinking. The little bombs. Oh my God. Are you joking? Yeah, got the b bomb. <laughs> I think I would call them plumbers or mammals. Like, Whatever. Trust the fungus. I mean, are they not mammals? Have you met like a reptilian plumber anytime soon? Amphibious plumber? I mean, I guess you could consider maybe plumbers amphibious in like a practical sense. Yeah. Well, Bob Hoskins was terribly miscast. Okay, try to guess what age, like in the video games, Mario is supposed to be. What are you doing? Just stop her. I'm guessing... I'm guessing because Peach is he, I'm guessing there's no way they're going to have a princess who's like 60. So I'm going to guess 
27. What the fuck? Oh, you're actually, yeah, 25. If Mario in the video games is supposed to be 25 years old. I mean, it just makes more sense. And mustache. Like, oh, man. Yeah, who grows a mustache at age 25 like that, though? Like, not ironically. <laughs> yeah. I know mustaches are in now, and everybody wants to grow them because they think that they're like, I'm the one dude with the mustache going to a volleyball tournament. And it's like, no, look around. You're literally one of 500 people here that have a mustache. Trust me, last year going to volleyball tournaments, there's only been one thing consistent, and that's dudes thinking that they're cool because they think they're going to be the guy with the mustache. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. You're not that original. <laughs> not an original, bro. I also like how the big move to ruin that gun is to just blow the light out, like the pilot light on the flamethrower. Just blow it out, and the weapon doesn't work anymore. Solid. <laughs> it's like what you didn't think just like that? plugging your finger over the barrel of a real gun. It's like yeah. nope, doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work anymore. Oh, shit, it's coming back around. It's all about having the right tool. Oh yeah, he's got it. There it apprenticeship. Is. They really nail that whole their plumbers thing home with this. Oh my god, that's well, just depressing. That single moment. The World Trade Center yeah, evolving. <laughs> that that is like too well. That, that hit a little too close to home. Oh, shit. Ah, how they get devolved into shit. Look like how slow the bullets are moving. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is getting worse. Dude, at least he still has his wedding ring on. These these people are handling the fact that a guy just got turned into a monkey way too well. <laughs> yeah. They're laughing at him. <laughs> They're laughing at him. Dude just <laughs> got turned into a monkey. Oh, he's gonna eat the mushroom. No. Trust the fungus. Love it. Dude, that's my life motto. Yes, <laughs> trust the you. fungus. T- this just plays more in line with the fact that it was a dude in college. <laughs> he trusted the fungus. Dude, that's exactly – he probably thought it all. He's like, I got the perfect ending to the movie. All I got to do – it was some dude at, like, Harvard who just made friends with a bunch of financial bros and was like, all I need is $35 million and I can make the best movie <laughs> and the licensing rights. To Super Dude, Mario Brothers. The fungus. I think that's literally how Velocipaster got made, though. <laughs> that's, well, yeah. 35,000 versus 35 million is a big difference. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, what was the budget? What is this little bomb going to go? I think it was 35 million. It was, oh, what a range here. 35 million was the box office. Oh, okay. Uh, 42 to 48 million was the budget. Okay. It's like, one fairly successful Harvard financial bro. Yeah. Oh man, they're dancing again. Hey, at least they tie it all back together. At least let's the say, like, dancing thing wasn't one thing. Yeah, let's say good good thing Luigi taught him to dance. That's come in handy a couple times. When are they gonna like have a, a traveling shell that goes across the ground? Like in the game. Right. How the- many goddamn sparks in this movie? There are so many sparks. You're <laughs> right. How oh, did they not set things on fire? There's just random flames going off in the background. When is this bomb going to go off? Oh, we're what were the bombs it. called in the game? Didn't wasn't the bombs it, have a specific name? Wasn't it just Babam, like what they're calling it here? No, honestly, like, what are Goombas in the game? They're like the brown short guys those are the goombas so the total opposite of this like yeah I mean, they're I not, they're not this. but these dudes are massive yeah it's kind of sad that they didn't have like a mushroom though 
Wait, did they? I guess they didn't really. He had the mushroom, but it didn't like. They should have just had him eat it, and then he went to like twenty feet tall. That's what Quinn's been waiting for. That's what he wants him Is to that do. What you said Quinn. I'm sorry, I must have missed it. No, that, that's Quinn's just been like eat the mushroom the wait, whole wait, time. Wait, I, I, the pasta. Or uh, could they have a sparkly? Is this a better sparkly? than the, the Velocipaster? These effects. Couldn't they have like a sparkly star and then he just turns into like a super athletic, like just yeah. runs through everybody? They can bring in the star. Just da, turns da, da, into da, like da, uh, da, 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 Gotta have the music da, da, da. in the background, yeah. <laughs> he just turns into like the Ray Lewis of the Super Mario Brothers world, just starts trucking through everybody. <laughs> uh, they're going to get so much dino pussy. <laughs> All the dino pussy they want. <laughs> Nothing really sets me off about that scaly reptilian gene. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's weird. Why'd they hug? What was that? What are they doing? Why are they doing this? It's like their uh, celebration lap, you know? Mario's just trying to play off the fact that he literally kidnapped this young boy and tricked him into being his brother and he's really just a slave of him. Oh, they were really quick with that paint. Yeah, they were quick to get rid of that. Oh my god. Like if all these people hated him, like they could have stopped him, right? Like Oh yeah, look at that CGI. Oh shit. How does that's that some work? pretty good work right there. Now, how come he came back to life? It's better than the move, movie Lucy when she turns into the weird digitalized... The, the flash drive? <laughs> flash drive, yeah. The weird moldy flash drive she turns into. Yep. Uh, that yeah, had some that. Uh, amazing yeah. cinematic effects like in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> that movie turns so weird so fast. Yeah, I don't like, know what that is and I'm okay with that. Lucy? No, you gotta Scar watch Joe. it. Scar Joe. You should watch Lucy. It, the cinematic effects alone, just take whatever these guys took when they wrote this or decided they're going to make this movie and then watch Lucy, and I trust trust me, you'll enjoy it. Nah, I'm good. Matt, tell him. <laughs> Lucy is, uh, I'd say the ending makes it weirder. Oh. Like, it was good for most of it, but then the ending happens. It's like, what the fuck did I just watch? Yeah, the ending was horrible. <laughs> I would say it's a trip. And it's a it? double entendre. It's a trip. And it's like a double entendre when you say that. I'll look it up. Morgan Freeman's in it. That doesn't mean anything to me. Dude, he's in March of the Penguins. And March of the Penguins was awesome. He's in Shawshank. Shawshank's amazing. Yeah, I mean, Shawshank's okay, but March of the Penguins is okay, awesome. Well, let's calm down. <laughs> he narrated March of the Penguins, Bo. It's quite, very different. Was he in the credits? He yes, okay, so he was in March of the Penguins and March of the Penguins never got to see it. was awesome. It does not. Hey, at least they had a good continuing whatever that means. Uh, they had the, the, the bitch splash through the side of the wall here. Let's say there's the no li no upper lip lady skeleton in the side. Yeah, she's still plastered to the wall there. That's pretty impressive. Should we see if this movie's more accurate than uh, What's-His-Face? Uh, Norky the dorky about his complaints with raptors. Oh. I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, how see, many, got a review on this. Just how many fingers do raptors have? Dude, Yoshi creeps me out. Because technically, he is like the real size of a raptor. Yeah, no feathers though. Three weeks later, oh, three fingers. Laid. They were right. Oh, so they're more accurate in this movie than... Than Velocipaster. Well, no, sorry. Velocipaster wasn't trying to be serious. So that's not the argument. More <laughs> accurate than Norky the Dorky trying to bitch about how unrealistic the raptor was. And he still <laughs> didn't know what a raptor was like. Oh, there we go. They just called them the Super Mario Brothers. Why not the Super Luigi Brothers? It, like, just because he's older? Well, Mario's their last name, so that's what it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot there's three Marios. <laughs> there's three Marios. Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario. That's actually pretty funny. 
What? It has Dane. some comedic value. Dane. There you oh, go. the old school logo too. I like how they completely. Oh wait, written in Oh no, that's the different. Let's see who wrote it. Almost unreal. Oh, it's just the like song. <laughs> okay, I, that's what I thought at first. I was like, it's that's that's you just pay the people to make the music. Like you could be the first person in the credits. That's exactly how they did it. Okay. Well, that, that was, was uh, great. I'm gonna turn this something. off. <laughs> I think there's actually a post-credit scene in this too. It might be like one of the first post-credit scenes that I can think of. Did they have to try and justify the movie? What well, what stunts were there? There was one dude, Mario, was jumping on those those like boots or whatever all the time. <laughs> the only stunt was the guy that got kicked in the chest. That's exactly what I'm saying. There's the one no post credit scene, man. Oh, maybe I just didn't have it on that recording. So oh, the post- oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I found it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna download the song. <laughs> Dude, I already turned the we volume up because I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> <Just low. laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I literally turned it off so I couldn't hear it anymore. <laughs> That's all right. I just want to know who the director is and like the anybody, anybody involved. That's all right. Well, I, I figured, I mean, it doesn't have to be that long. We could just talk about <laughs> This I, feel like, movie. I feel like these people are on neighborhoodwatchdog.com. That's all right. I mean, here. I we'll just talk about it for a little while. I'm out. Yes, oh, sure. The end I, scene is I don't need to watch stupid. it. The end credit scene is stupid. So dumb. <laughs>